friends and welcome back. If you're joining with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Long Meadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Auburn, New Hampshire, and I come to YouTube twice each week. I'm here every Sunday with a worship service for the entire family, but I also get to come here every uh, Wednesday with a special message for the children of our church, and that's why I am here today. And I am just putting in the last couple of bags of groceries that I got after worship on Sunday, and we are going to be bringing these to a special event that our church participates in every year called the Religious Response to Hunger. This is an event that involves houses of worship from all over the greater Manchester area. It is organized by Temple Adath Yeshurun, which is a Jewish synagogue in Manchester, and they put this on every year around the Jewish high holidays between Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. And they have invited all of the different houses of worship, those that are like them, other Jewish synagogues, as well as other houses of worship, those who worship differently than they do. But we all come together on this day to make a big impact at the large food pantry in Manchester, which is called Families in Transition. During the summer, their shelves get really depleted because not a lot of people make donations to food pantries in the summer. They just sort of take the summer off and it gets really depleted. So we have this big blitz right at the beginning of autumn in which we all work together to make a difference. And so I'm going to bring you along with me, take some uh, video of all of the different congregations working together, and uh, I'm going to insert that right here, and then I'll be back at the end to talk a little more about it. Come on with me. I don't know what's in here. Everybody's loaded it. Well, I don't think it matters. This one's heavy. here at Temple of Death, Sharon, and I want to introduce you to Judith Jolton, who has been, she told me, a member of this congregation for 43 years, yes. and has been involved in this project as long as I've known about it, which has been about 17 years, but much longer than that you've been involved. I have. And she coordinates this for the uh, synagogue, and I'd like you to just tell me, how did you get involved, and what do you love about this project? I love about this project is because we do it for Yom Kippur. For Yom Kippur, we do not eat one day. We fast, and we have asked the congregation over the years to please bring in the food that they don't eat during Yom Kippur, plus other food. We've been very fortunate that we have had the clergy involved with us, and we last year we had 2,200 pounds of food. And we're very happy we got a proclamation this year from Governor Sununu uh, for all the food that we have brought in. And we're just so proud that the temple does this every year and it's recognized by the governor this year and that the clergy has been so wonderful that they come and give us food. We, we couldn't do it without you. We really couldn't because yesterday our van was full Today, the van from Families in Transition New Horizon will be full. So we can only thank you for everything that you've done now and in the past. It's well, been wonderful. We are really blessed to be 
part of this and to join with you and with all of our siblings here in all the different houses of worship. So we thank you for the invitation and we're so happy to be part of this because we're a little church. We, you know, sometimes we feel like, oh, there's not much we can do. We're still a little church, but when we join together with our siblings in different faiths as well as siblings who worship the same way we do, then we can make a huge difference. And together, we can really change the world. You know, it doesn't matter whether we're big or little. When we all get together, we're one. That's right. And we all have our own beliefs, and we believe in God. And that's the most important thing. Absolutely. And we're all a part of each other. That's right. So I can only thank you so much for being a part of us and we being a part of you. It's, it's an honor. Thank you so much. You're welcome thank you. and thank you. Well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we were doing. I'm back home now and going to start the rest of my day, but I just wanted to come back here and talk a little bit about why this was especially a blessing to us. Yes, our church all worked together and we gathered a lot of food. We had two carloads filled with food. But you know, we're a small church and two carloads is a lot of food, but the need is greater than that. And so sometimes it's easy to think when we're a small church or we only stick with ourselves and what we can do, it may not seem like a lot. But when we get together with other people and we pool our resources, we pull our energy and our time and our generosity together, we can make a huge difference in the lives of people. And the Bible tells us in the letter to the Hebrews that let us consider how we may spur one another on, how we may encourage one another on toward love and good need and good deeds. Not giving up meeting together, encouraging one another. That when we work together, when we encourage one another, whether we meet together or not, we can make a difference. And we are called to encourage one another. As I said, these are all different kinds of houses of worship. It is what's called an interfaith project which means there are people of different faiths working together because we know that there are things that are so much bigger than our differences. And one of the things that's so much different than our, than our differences, so much bigger than our differences, is those things we have in common. And that is our love for God, our love for each other, our love for people who have need and knowing that together we can make a huge, huge difference in the world, far more than any of us could do working alone. So yes, we do worship differently, but that doesn't matter. We should always put our differences aside in order to serve God and to serve all of God's beloved children. Will you pray with me now? Lord, we give you thanks for this opportunity, not only to bless those who may need a little help stocking their pantry and having food to eat this winter, but thank you especially for the blessing of working with your other beloved children who worship you in different ways, but who love you and who love us and whom we love. Amen. So thanks for joining me here this day. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I hope you'll join with me again next week when we're gonna have another opportunity to show how we can be a blessing even when we don't expect it. I'll see you next week. Until then, my friends, remember, I love you very much. And above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.